Breast Reconstruction Awareness Day was launched in 2011 by Dr. Mitchell Brown, a plastic surgeon in Toronto. It has quickly grown to include numerous events throughout Canada and more than 30 countries participating worldwide. Breast Reconstruction Awareness is an initiative designed to promote education, awareness, and access for women who may wish to consider post-mastectomy breast reconstruction. It is a collaborative effort that includes plastic surgeons specializing in breast surgery, plastic surgery nurse specialists, Canadian Society of Plastic Surgeons, Willow Breast and Hereditary Cancer Support, corporate sponsors, and breast cancer organizations. Breast cancer reconstruction is the recreation of a breast after it has been removed during a mastectomy. The goal of the procedure is to recreate the breast mound so you can look normal when wearing clothes. There are many different types of breast reconstructions. Reconstructions can be created using your own tissues, using implants, or a combination. Typically, people talk about a tram flap or a DEP flap when a tissue is taken from a patient's abdomen and is used to reconstruct the breast volume or tissue expander and implants when a special type of an implant is placed under the muscle, the pectoral muscle, and is then slowly inflated to stretch out the muscle. The types of reconstructions can be immediate or delayed. Immediate means that the reconstruction is done at the same time as a mastectomy. This requires coordination between the breast surgeon and the plastic surgeon to come in on the same day. Typically, a breast surgeon first performs a mastectomy. As soon as the mastectomy is finished, the plastic surgeon comes in and continues and completes the reconstruction. The other type of reconstruction is the delayed type of reconstruction. This is done when a breast surgeon performs a mastectomy, the patient heals, and then later on, months or years later, the patient decides that they want to have a reconstruction, and they come and see a plastic surgeon, and the reconstruction is done. The benefit of an immediate reconstruction is that you really just go through one surgery as compared to multiple surgeries. The reconstructive results tend to be nicer looking, tend to be easier, and from a patient's point of view, what's important is that you skip this period when you have no breast. You go straight from a natural breast through a mastectomy to a reconstructed breast, and you don't have to deal with having a flat chest and having this constant reminder that you've had breast cancer. The psychological benefit comes from this. There's actually also a health benefit. Uh, people with breast reconstruction have been shown to have a slightly increased rate of survival and quality of life. And this is probably related to the psychological benefits. Patients who feel better about themselves, live a healthy lifestyle, are thought to perhaps be somewhat healthier and better resilient to undergo future treatments such as chemotherapy and radiation. My name is Mary Petrella, I'm 55 years old, and I work in project management for Cineplex Entertainment. My name is Christina, I am a teacher, and uh, I'm 40 years old. Marnie Lynn Sennett, I'm 45 years old, and I have my own business. I was at my surgeon's office, Dr. Whiteacre, and uh, she had confirmed that I had early stages of breast cancer and she had strongly advised that I have a double mastectomy due to the nature and the type of the cancer. I was 37 years old and uh, I found, um, I guess, a mass in my breast and I went to the doctor and uh, originally he said it was nothing and I persisted and we, we found out that I had breast cancer. I recall the day very well. It was in April of 2012 and um, it was just a progression of finding one lump, then two lumps, and some suspicious areas in the left side. I had no information. I was actually sent out into a room and just was told to wait there, and that was it. I was given no options and information on, on what would happen next. What they offered me that day was breast conservation which was uh, told to me was lumpectomy with radiation. Uh, when I persisted and said I would like to look at options of breast reconstruction, I was told to just deal with the cancer first using this method. I didn't really hear reconstructive surgery at first, but as my surgeon started to talk about it, I became very interested in it. And the first thought that came to mind was, 
gone are the old ones and I'm going to be getting great perky breasts. And I thought, perfect. And now I don't have to worry about growing old and having them sagging down to my knees. I did some phone calls to some people that I knew in other provinces, Alberta and Quebec particularly, and they both had had reconstruction at the time of their mastectomy. So I knew this was possible. Um, I also figured in Ontario, where we have our capital, we need to have, you know, um, doctors who know how to do this procedure. So taking no for an answer was not acceptable. It's at that point that I started to make some cold calls, um, and I found a plastic surgeon who was willing to take my case. I remember when my surgeon told me about my plastic surgeon and provided me um, information and set up the appointment. I had come down to the office and um, I was a little skeptical because, again, I had never heard about reconstructive surgery, but the moment you step in, you're just welcomed by such a wonderful team and they are so well informed and they provide you all the information that you need. So it was explained to me what the steps would be and that reconstructive surgery would happen at the same time I had my a double mastectomy. I went online, as most people probably do for information, and I was very careful not to overload myself with information. That can also be a bad thing, but I did see some very obvious options and choices for breast reconstruction. My thoughts were that it was the best case scenario for me. Uh, originally, when I had been diagnosed, I thought, I just want to get rid of this cancer. It didn't matter if I had breasts or not at the end of it. But as I became more knowledgeable and I, became, I came closer to the procedure, I realized I had to do something that would make me feel like this cancer hadn't taken over my life. For me, it was something I very much wanted to consider. I'm, I'm still a very young woman and I'm active and I, I wanted to deal with the cancer but also maintain my femininity. I thought breast reconstruction could do that for me. I had then started doing some research on reconstructive surgery and realized how wonderful it was. And the most beautiful moment was when I realized that I'm no longer going to have something that's going to be sagging down to my hips, but I'm going to be comfortable with really wonderful breasts. And I think every woman should look at it that way because that is what's happening with us. Personally speaking, for me, it was psychologically keeping my well-being. While I was going through the cancer treatments or dealing with the cancer surgeries, this gave me an ultimate goal to focus on and look forward to re achieving and having an end come to the situation. I absolutely feel that is so important and every woman out there, the minute you go online and you research about breast cancer, you should right automatically start looking into reconstructive surgery because you'd be surprised at what is being done these days for women and you don't have to worry about not having anything there. They always talk about being positive and, and having hope and, and, and looking into the future and you know there's medications and new treatments that are coming up. but. Who you feel like, who you are as a person before cancer and after cancer, it is different, but it doesn't need to change so drastically. I would strongly suggest when your surgeon tells you that you have breast cancer, ask them about reconstructive surgery. It is the most important thing every woman should know about. It's there for us. Um, the government does assist us with it, and you never have to worry ever, ever again. The, the one message is um, don't sit down and don't wait for, for information to come to you. You have to make yourself knowledgeable. You have to be aggressive in finding out all of your options, whether it's from your, your perspective of chemotherapy to the type of cancer that you have, um, to the treatment and what will happen thereafter. I don't think I would have had the same confidence that I have today. I think with anything, um, when it's your body and something is removed and something is not put 
in its place, it's disheartening and um, it's also a blow to your self-esteem. Um, reconstructive surgery just takes that all away and you don't think twice about it. Um, it's just double mastectomy, reconstructive surgery, and it is just a, a wonderful sensation to know that it is available for everybody. I think if I had to get up every morning and be reminded, regardless of a winning situation over cancer, if I had a unilateral or bilateral mastectomy, I think that I would constantly be reminded of that journey. Um, every time I had a shower or had an intimate moment with my husband, I don't have that anymore. I don't have that at all with breast reconstruction. It's given me confidence going through all of this. I know myself and I know that I would have prevailed and I would be the personality that I am. However, I think also knowing the, the kind of person that personality that I am, I would have looked back and said, could I have done something differently? Did I fight strong, hard enough for myself? Did I do the right thing? And when you get all the information as much as possible available, and then you make a, an educated decision, you feel stronger about the way that you've gone. So I think that if I hadn't taken this route, I think I, I would not be as confident as I am today.